With a little love and some tenderness We'll walk upon the water, we'll rise above the mist With a little peace and some harmony We'll take the world together Well hi guys, Stephanie Hale here. Um, we're going to talk about iJot today. This is the coolest thing. Video mail in a blink, okay? Um, you can join now and it's free, no worries. Um, it's just like regular um, signing up for just about anything. You get a username. And as long as you get the little green check marks, um, everything's okay. Nobody's used that username or your passwords are all correct. Um, you add your name and your city and, and your country and state. Click finish. And then they're going to configure your video camera and your microphone to um, iJot, okay? And as you um, click through, you're going to see, um, you click on the settings, you, ch you know, just double check them that it's going to the right camera and all of that. Um, actually, they let you test your microphone, which is the coolest thing, um, so that you know that it's, you know, the little bar is going up and down and it's working, um, and the camera. Um, you can actually take a photo of yourself right now to upload um, as your profile photo if you'd like, or you can make a video right away. But um, you just check um, all the settings to make sure it's going to the correct camera and your microphone and um, camera are working. All right? And if you choose not to take a picture of yourself right away, you can click on profile when you get um, all ready and you upload a photo, no worries. It takes like no, no time at all with this one. Um, you click on upload photo right there. Um, it will take you into your, um, into your photos, into your picture choices in your computer. And you just click on the one that you want and it'll come down in the file name. You click open and then there you'll be. No worries, see? <laughs> and I recommend that you fill in your about me um, because people will come and see it, you know. Um, you just click update when it's all filled out. You just write a little couple lines about yourself. And um, you can definitely view your profile page when you're finished. Had I already uploaded a video, it would be sitting right in the middle. Um, but my about me is on the right hand side and my picture's on the left. And then the widgets. The widget tab is under um, the third tab in, which is services, okay. and it gives you an option to go to widget box or just to copy and paste the HTML code right there. If you go to widget box, this is the coolest place, um, it's widgetbox.com, it just takes you right there and it already has your name, user ID and everything filled in and you just click the green button and it will give you your choices of widgets, it's just so cool. Because you can put it right on MySpace, Facebook, um, Blogspot, WordPress, LiveJournal, Tagged, um, and they even have a more choice. Okay, and your code will be right there if they want you to copy and paste it into your blog or, or site or social network site, or you can just automatically have it go there. They also give you a list of other widgets that you might like from um, WidgetBox, which is so cool. It's widgetbox.com if you want to go check that out. Um, the RSS feed, this is so neat. Because your code shows right up here, and I'll show you one place where you can definitely use an RSS feed if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, Google Reader. I love Google Reader. Um, you just see the little add subscriptions, the green tab over to the left hand side. You just click that. You fill in the code that they gave you, the um, RSS feed, and you click add, and there it'll be. Um, so I dots for Stephanie Hale is in my RSS feed for um, Google Reader. Um, you run the Plexo importer to go import your friends from your email address sites, okay, or from Plexo. Um, other Yahoo, Gmail, um, Outlook Express, any of that. Outlook Express, you have to be on Internet Explorer to do that one, okay? And there they are. <laughs> There's some of my friends from Google, from gmail.com. And um, now we're going to talk about making subgroups out of your friends, okay? You're going to create a group, and um, just so that if you want to send one video out to like 10 or 20 of your other friends, or uh, you have a business organization like my VM team, um, I made a my VM team group, and then um, you just label it, and um, then 
you highlight it once it's listed over here. You highlight the selected group and you click Add Friends. And it will bring you back to all of your friends list that you have. And in order to, um, to add them, you'll just click on the, the picture of your friend and you can control click to add multiple friends. Okay, and there's Jim. And um, then that's it. Now all of those people are in my, or my subgroup for now on my VM team. Um, you can extend iJot by upgrading. So there is an upgrade option here at iJot and you can get into that and read all that. It's just right there. Um, your profile page, you can go see it, what other, how other people view your profile at any time, no worries. And then um, back to the front page, um, anybody can join for free um, and then you can see the other options they have available to you. Um, there is a couple more tabs under the services tab. Um, mobile, um, definitely, if you're going to upgrade, that's an option for you. Um, other devices is Chummy, Chum, C H U M B Y dot com. You know, there's a link on there about that. It's a really neato tool. Um, see, Chummy, <laughs> wake up to your internet life. Um, it's a cute little unit, and it seems like a very handy, handy little device. Um, and then notifications, emails. You set how, how you want your email notifications to come to you personally on that one. Um, but then the help topics area is brilliant. So if you have any questions at all, um, just jump on the help button up there. No worries. Talk to you soon. With a little love and some tenderness, we'll walk upon the water, we'll rise above the mist.